Hi everyone, I'm Mike Jacoby from Lucid Vision Labs, and I'm very excited to announce the largest Sony megapixel sensor on our Atlas 10 10 Gigi PoE camera family, the IMX492. Sony's IMX492 rolling shutter CMOS sensor comes in at a whopping 47 megapixels. That's a max resolution of 8240 by 5628 pixels. And yes, that is more than 8K UHD resolution. The sensor size is relatively compact for it being 47 megapixels at 4 3rd inch sensor size, specifically 23.1 millimeters diagonal, and has a pixel size of 2.315 micrometers. Thanks to the Atlas 10's 10 Gigi interface, this camera model can stream the max resolution at 22.6 frames per second at 10-bit ADC or at 15.5 frames per second at 12-bit ADC. Not only that, but if we ROI the resolution down to 8K UHD, at 10-bit ADC we can hit 30 frames per second. Other resolutions such as 4K UHD reaches 59.8 frames per second and 1080p at 112. Note that this model uses the TFL lens mount standard, which is larger than C-mount and allows for much better illumination on the edges of larger sensors. It's also more compact than F-mount and provides a secure threaded screw mounting of the lens versus the bayonet connection of F-mount. The threaded screw mount provides better resilience to shock and vibration in industrial environments. In addition, each and every Atlas 10 unit goes through active sensor alignment during manufacturing. This gives you crisp and clear imaging from the center of the IMX49 to, to the edges, minimizing sensor tilt and rotation between units. All right, let's dive into some image quality performance numbers. As with all of our machine vision cameras, Lucid uses the EMVA 1288 standard for testing. Taking a look at the quantum efficiency of the mono IMX492 sensor, the QE sensitivity curve is excellent. To put these results into context, let's compare it to our other high resolution sensors, the 31.4 megapixel IMX342 and the 24.5 megapixel IMX530 both global shutter sensors. Here we can see that the IMX492 provides higher sensitivity versus the two global shutter sensors. Comparing it to our other highest rolling shutter sensor, the 20 megapixel IMX183, both show very similar high sensitivity results. Similar to the mono results, the color model produces excellent color sensitivity in the blue, green, and red wavelengths. With a peak QE at 67.8 for blue, 74.6 for green, and 57.7 for red. Comparing it to the global shutter sensors, it provides better sensitivity in the blues and greens versus the 31.4 megapixel IMX342. Compared to the 24.5 megapixel IMX530, it provides better sensitivity across all three colors. And finally, it produces about the same great color performance as the 20 megapixel IMX183 rolling shutter sensor. Moving on to saturation capacity, the IMX492 comes in a little more than 15,500 electrons, about 5,000 more versus the global shutter sensors, and a tad higher than the IMX183. For temporal dark noise, however, its results are higher, around 7.8 electrons, where the others are typically hovering just above 2 or 3 electrons. The higher temporal dark noise does end up affecting its dynamic range performance, with the IMX492 coming in at around 65 decibels, which is about 5 less than the other sensors. Overall though, 65 decibel dynamic range is still excellent, and factoring in its 47 megapixel resolution, fast frame rates, and industrial camera design, this Atlas 10 model provides excellent performance, with standout color sensitivity for the color model in particular. Not only is this a great high resolution camera for applications such as industrial AOI or high-end commercial 3D scanning, but it's also perfect for 3D photogrammetry, whether it's terrestrial or aerial, which tend to use DSLR or mirrorless consumer cameras. Unlike DSLR or mirrorless cameras, where each brand has its own non-standardized UVC type SDK, the need for a USB or wireless connection to sync these consumer cameras can have inconsistent and higher latencies and don't offer the best reliability. The Atlas 10 industrial camera, however, is designed for synchronized multi-camera arrays operating 24-7 with true hardware and software triggering through industry standard camera protocols such as Gigi Vision and the Precision Time Protocol IEEE 15.8. Connecting and syncing multiple Atlas 10 units to create a camera array is simplified and made more efficient by utilizing just one Ethernet cable per camera unit to trigger, send data, and power, thanks to the camera supporting power over Ethernet as well. Another benefit to using this camera is its extensive software support through Lucid's Arena Software Development Kit. 
That includes our ArenaView GUI with built-in JupyterLab, APIs to build your own programs, example codes, and documentation, as well as support for all the major third-party machine vision software packages. So to summarize, it's 47 megapixels, has fast frame rates, excellent image quality performance, an industrial camera design with active sensor alignment, PTP 1588 synchronization, and power over ethernet, along with our free SDK. This camera packs in a lot of value with color and mono models priced at $24.95 USD. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching and stay lucid.